everyone, it's Hannah Opaltree, and welcome yeah. back- Hey, it's Hannah. Please get here soon. She's in pain. The Baroness was rushed to the hospital, as I called the vet. And when I found out what horse had been in the accident with her, I was practically heartbroken. Sunny. Out of all horses, it had to be Sunny. They all left with the Baroness, thinking that Sunny wouldn't be hurt. But I could tell something was wrong. She was limping. She didn't want to walk. I had to check on her like halfway through the walk back to the barn just to make sure if she was okay, which I knew she wasn't. So I took it kind of slow on the rest of the walk back to the barn just to make sure that I wasn't straining it any more than it had already been strained. When we got back into the barn, the tension in Sunny seemed to go away a little bit, which I was really happy about before I started unpacking her. When I checked out Sunny's leg on the walk to the barn, I realized that it was really hot, as if the inside of her leg was on fire, so I decided to cold hose it in the meantime while waiting for the vet. After cold hosing for about 10 minutes, I decided that I wanted to clean out the wound just to make sure that no dirt was inside of it and possibly could get infected. So after I did that with some warm water, I wrapped up her legs just to make sure that no excess dirt was getting inside of her wounds that she had. She seemed to be a lot more comfortable in the stall, which I was super happy about because I wanted her to be as comfortable as possible. And then I just rechecked her wrappings and headed towards the other horses to check on them. The vet texted me and told me that she was on her way, which I was so thankful for because honestly at this point I did not know what else I was going to do for Sunny. So I slowly brought her out to the lesson barn just to make sure that the vet could see her as quickly as possible. Before the vet got there, I had called the girls because I didn't honestly didn't know what was going on and why and how the Baroness and Sunny had gotten hurt. So they told me that it had to do with a car and the car had spooked Sunny. So Sunny tried to run away from it, but then her leg got caught in something, I don't even know what it was, neither did they, and they both fell over. The vet was super sweet and made sure to tell me that I did everything that I possibly could for Sunny, including covering the wound just to make sure it wasn't infected. As soon as she was done looking at her leg, she turned to me with not the best face in the world. The vet told me that Sunny had gotten an avulsion fracture, which is where a piece of the bone is pulled away by the abnormally strong action of an attached tendon or ligament. In this case, it was the fact that she got caught in something and it pulled on her soft tissue and a bone. The vet told me that Sunny's situation was extremely severe and that it would be extremely difficult to heal. But there was still hope, she said, and I'm very thankful for that. She told me that due to the severeness, I probably would not be able to ride her for a very long time, which is really upsetting, but at the same time, I just want what's best for her. So after we were finished talking, she made sure to put back on the bandaging. She also gave me some extra bandages and other things that I needed to take care of Sunny before heading out. So I took Sunny back into the main barn and took out the braids that she was wearing while the Baroness was riding her, just to make sure that she was comfortable in her stall. And then I got a call from my friend who was actually with the Baroness at the hospital. She told me that the Baroness was not gonna be able to ride again for a very long time, if ever again. And I started thinking, there's a horse that the Baroness doesn't want me riding because she's riding him and she doesn't want anybody messing him up. But now that she can't ride, maybe I could get on Gizmo. I thought this was a great idea, and I still think that it's a great idea even now, that I should take care of the horse that she can't take care of anymore by riding him. Now, if you guys don't know, I did fall off of Gizmo a while ago, so I've been kind of timid around him and timid riding him, but I think that today in this accident is gonna change that. And the only way to know for sure is to just do it. <laughs> So I grabbed Gizmo from his stall and he was calm as usual, as he usually is on the ground. I was especially happy that he was calmer just because of all that havoc that was going on at the barn with Sunny and with the Baroness and with all the yelling and all the sirens and just crazy stuff. I was very happy that he was calm and seemed to be in a really good mood. So I'm using my night blanket and then I'm using my sporty saddle which I haven't used in a really long time and I'm so excited to use it today and finally get back into it. So then I'm just putting on his black bridle and my helmet that I always wear and some gloves. As usual, Gizmo was super, super calm with being tacked up and all of that and I was very happy that he seemed to be in a better mood today than he did when he threw me off. So I started getting kind of excited to ride him and kind of rushing toward the mounting block but I wanted to keep as calm and collected as I could so that I didn't jinx it. So now I'm just tightening up his girth and hopping on. Mm -hmm. 
I was pretty nervous when I actually got on him, so I made sure to pet him a little bit, do some small movements before I picked up the walk. And I was so relieved because last time when I tried to get him to walk, he completely did not want to. Kind of stopped right in his area that he was in and reared. And so I was very happy that he was walking. He actually seemed really, really happy. His ears were forward. He had a bounce in his step, which I was really happy about. And he seemed to be enjoying himself on the walk there. I made sure to keep it kind of slow in the beginning just because I didn't want to push it too far and have him suddenly be all weird about it again. But I'm thankful that he was not weird about it at all and we headed to the Overlook Arena so that we could start with our flat work. Despite all of the commotion that happened this morning, I was super happy to realize that it was such a beautiful day outside. Once we were in the arena, Gizmo's mood kind of changed, not in a bad way, but it was more of a, okay, it's time to work kind of mindset that he was in, which was really cool and something that I'd never really experienced with him before. His extended trot was so nice to ride, and I loved every single second of riding him. So here's a few clips of our ride. I hope you enjoy. Once we were finished, I kind of wanted to test him and do some haunch turns just to see how he would react to that. And he did amazing with the leg pressure. He was absolutely perfect, so I made sure to give him lots of pats before getting off. And extra pats for not throwing me off. <laughs> Overall, I was so, so relieved. I can't even tell you how relieved I was to know that Gizmo just had an off day that day when he threw me off. He just wasn't himself, and I'm so thankful to know who the real Gizmo is now and to feel so comfortable on him. Honestly, he's easier than Harley, which is something I did not expect, but he really was. He was a lot calmer, a lot more, okay, you're riding me, you are in charge. And with Harley, he's kind of like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh, let me run over here, let me run over here, blah, 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 blah. And he's kind of crazy. So <laughs> with Harley, it's different from Gizmo. And with Gizmo, it's just relaxing. And I'm so excited to finally get to ride him like in a way that I never was able to before. After I was finished, I just took off my helmet and my gloves and I hosed down Gizmo because he was a little bit sweaty due to the fact that he's been out of work for a while because the Baroness, even though she says that she rides him, she doesn't ride him hard. She basically walks him around, stepping on eggshells the whole time. So I made sure to hose and groom him before I took off his halter and said goodbye. Well, today was insane in both a good way and a bad way. I'm just hoping that Sunny and the Baroness will be okay. I've called the Baroness, she seems to be doing fine, but she's just not going to be able to ride for a while and seems that she's kind of not herself right now due to the fact that she can't ride. I'm sure that that's hard to take in. With Sunny, I think she's going to be okay, it's just going to take a lot of time to recover and to get back to her old Sunny self. And I already miss her and I already wish that she was better, but I think this is a good time to focus more on Gizmo and to focus more on Harley, possibly get Harley into dressage and maybe get Gizmo into riding like I ride Harley. I'm not sure, we're gonna see. But I am very excited for the future and also very excited for this recovery. I hope you guys are too. And thank you so, so, so much for watching. Your constant support is amazing and it means the world to me. And I really, really hope that someday I will be able to include you. Keep your eyes open. I think I have an idea on how to include you all. It won't be during the next few weeks, but I think that it will be very, very soon. And I'm going to include all of you in a video as well as my team. I'm so, so, so excited to figure out what this is going to be and how we're going to make it all work. I hope you guys are too, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!